hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video it's a boy or was a little yeah today we are going to do something amazing again i've done this tutorial before but this one is totally different and some persons like some of my um viewers on youtube reached out to me um concerning a, a particular issue right and the issue is probably they're finding it hard to like use the image texture of the 3d model um but um fortunately for us uh bro creative dropped a new model for us so let's just check it out um if you're not following him please check him out he's he's an amazing um designer he's very very good at um, blender as well so he drops like 3d models here and there once in a while and also tutorials so recently he dropped this particular tutorial i believe you can see it and um i mean this is this is amazing this is top notch the last one i created did not have it was just like a rotation um kind of animation just you know rolling going like 360 right but this in this like includes um walking animation now i went through the the comments i i downloaded it at first and i went through the comment and i noticed that a few persons um have issue with using it and you know they don't know how to use it so i'm going to just run through how to download and use it um yeah shout out to bro creative um yeah first thing first you want to go to this page that's his ig page um when you come to his ig page you would see he has two links here um this is one you're interested in when you click on this you are going to come down here to this particular page right and when you come down here this is what you're interested in downloading so you just click on um bro creative and then so for this price i mean you can put any price um you can afford um yeah so you can put in any price you can afford um and if you do not have any um price as well you can also put um um zero uh but i mean it's very very nice if you could support him because again this particular model is like it's not something i've tried checking online for something i can use that would give me this exact thing but i could not get it so for the fact that it's giving this out for free i mean if you can it would be very nice for you to like you know support him but yeah when you do this you add it you when you do this and you add to cards you then download as usual so let's say i do not have um, anything to um give and you press this so i'm going to just remove this so this is what you would see normally right this is what you would see and then you just put in your email address and you get um the file <clears throat> now when you merely press get the file you will see the option to download i already downloaded mine which is this as you can see there then i just zipped it um, i unzipped it and this is what we have here so yeah if you are able to do that i mean that's good so let's move forward to the main thing so the moment you download your zip file this is what you you met with right you will see the blend file the blender file the psd file um there's a file called um what's the name of this file again is it a, a big seek or something it's just it's dot abc right it's an animation um file i first heard of it when i was using unreal engine so but yeah this is another file called the abc file and this is like a texture so the first thing you want to then do is this you're going to open your psd file and let's just do that um asap all right so now that we have our psd file opened just to confirm that i'm still recording so yeah now that we have our psd file opened this is what you'll be met with again this is very very simple and straightforward i'm going to just show you how to do it i don't want to use more than 10 minutes in this tutorial so this is what you're going to do this is our front and this is our back this is our right arm left arm and udi so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go um i'm just going to go to my desktop i'm going to my um i'm going to look for yeah this particular file where are you um one of my old designs yeah this particular one i'm going to drag it into the front so i'm just going to place it here at the front right so just place it here i'm going to call it african warrior and then the, for the back as well i'm going to just look for something else to put there at the back um where are you i need like a psd file 
Okay, I think I can use something like this for the back. Let's just use something random, right? So for the back, I'm going to use this, right? For the back. Um, yeah, something like this. Again, just um, make sure that it is properly aligned, right? So I have front and back, right? Now for the left arm, I want to just put my logo. <clears throat> for the left arm, I'm going to just put my logo and that was this was a needle and you know, I'm going to just increase the size then hold down shift then drag it like this and then you know try to place it like this now remember that the mock-up is black I mean you can change it to white but at the moment it is black so if it is black that means everything you're placing here should be able to show on black now your my logo will definitely not be able to show on black so I'll just change um, the start the lightness to white and i will just duplicate ctrl j and bring it to this left hand now i'm not going to put anything on this hoodie because it's just like the other part of the clothes of the hoodie right so you don't want to mess with it just leave it as it is then you can hide this now when you hide this now you can see that these are your elements your shirt element if i turn it on you can see this is it properly placed then you can just hide this when when you hide this then you can save your PSD file and close Photoshop. Now, the moment you close Photoshop, you just go to Blender. Now, just open Blender. Simple and sharp. Fast. Just follow this um, step, and you will not have any issue. Um, yeah, this is where you should please pay attention because um, what you meet there is different from what you would expect. So, I would be showing you how to navigate uh, whatever challenge you are going to face. So um, let's just give Blender a minute to like load. All right. So when you load up Blender, when you load up that particular uh, model, this is what you're going to see, right? We have it currently on shading. So, but we are not interested in putting it on shading. Let's just go straight to click on layout, right? Now, when you click on layout, we are, we are currently on the camera view, right? If you toggle off the camera, this is it. And if you toggle it on, this is it. Now, at the bottom here, if you drag this, using your mouse, if you drag this up, you will see the animation. Now, if I play the animation, you will see that the animation is this um, rotation animation, right? It's just rotating compared to what was showed on the IG of Brock, right? Compared to what was showed on the IG, it is not working. It is just rotating. And the reason why it is just rotating and not working is because we need to update the catch file. That C A C H E. The catch file. We need to update it. Now a lot of persons, even I myself, when I first opened it, I had issues with finding out how to like bring the working animation in. I did not know what to do, right? So then I was doing some studies on Google and I saw that oh the file came with remember this particular file dot abc. Now this is our animation. Now to then <coughs> to then um, generate your working animation, let me just bring my video down here. So what you want to then do is select your model using your mouse button. Select your model. When you select your model, you will locate your modifier tool. Let's let's open this. Now this is your modifier um, tool, right? When you click on it, you will see that there's a red. Um, this thing is showing a bit of red, like it shows that something is missing, right? So, what you then want to do is, looking at this, you'll see udfinal.abc. Then, what you want to then do is click on this open catch file. You want to load a catch file, right? So, you click on this open catch file. When you click on it, you automatically see it here. And if you can't see it there, just locate it where you have saved your folder, right? Just locate it where you have saved your folder. Then, you'll see udfinal.abc. Just click on the udfinal.abc, then open catch file, and then you would allow Blender to run the catch file. This might take a few seconds, so just um, give it a few seconds to like load. Now the um, the catch file has finished loading, and you can see that um, it seems as though my system is a bit um, it's hanging a bit. Now after you load your catch file, just expect that if you're using a a laptop that does not have high-end um, specifications you will definitely experience a bit of lag here and there right so what i want to then do is i'm going to turn on my turbo so you might 
you might you know hear some noise um, underneath just bear with me all right so my turbo is on now you would notice that the red um the red notification that was showing here is no longer showing there now if you press your play animation button you will then see that our animation is no longer the rotation animation but it is now the walking animation so let's just watch it play it's going to take a bit of time because it is more or less like loading it's i mean my system runs like on a high end spec so and yet it's taking this much time i wonder how how long it will take for the regular system to run this but yeah you would notice that the hand is coming down now and you know it is going to start working so yeah let's just give it um some few seconds right again sorry for the noise my turbo is running i use an alien predator and you know the turbo can be very very loud so yeah you can see that we now have our working animation very very simple straightforward and easy right so i want it to just play a little bit then i'm going to show you what it looks like in the rendered view so let me just pause it here right now that i pause it here you can see this now i'm going to open i'm going to show it in the render view now this is the render view right look at how neat it is so let's go out of the camera view if i toggle this off you can see this is our camera view now you can see this is our udi very beautiful very nice i'm using the m button of your um of your mouse the last time i did my tutorial i was calling it rolling button sorry about that so it's called the m button so and you know looks very beautiful looks very nice and that's that's the best that's the easy way to like use the model that um brock gave us um again shout out to brock brock creative amazing work boss um you know i'm always looking forward to your video so shout out to you uh, everyone should please follow brock creative if you're going to be using this model you definitely have to follow brock creative on his linkedin on his tiktok on his ig and also on his youtube again let's toggle on our um, camera and if you keep playing it would we'll see that right we we'll see that our video is playing so i'm not going to bore you with too much of this i'm just going to stop it here what i would just do is i'm going to go to my export now i want to export it not export output again mistake so we're going to go to our output scroll down i'm going to change the format to ffm peg video the um the encoding should be matroska and my video product should be h.264 again medium quality because my system is not that high end i mean it is high end but i don't want it to take too much time then i'm going to go to my render then i'll click on animation and it's going to start animating so i'm going to give it a few minutes i don't know how long it will take to animate but i'm going to um, pause this video now and jump straight to after it's done animating okay um so for some reason it only rendered the image it did not render the animation so i'm going to see what i can do to edit that and then show you what i'm able to like edit right so just give me a minute to go through that all right so i figured out um what was wrong or i don't know but i just figured out something so i'm going to show you why i did um and just close this so you are you have to be very very patient with if you're using like a low-end system please you have to be patient um with this particular model because I mean, for me, the fact that it is lagging on my own system, you might definitely, you definitely be experiencing that on yours as well. Except if you use like a very crazy gaming machine. So now, what you want to do is this: come to your output, scroll down to output, and ensure catch result is um, is checked. Before it was not checked, so ensure catch result is checked. Um, when I checked catch results and I rendered animation, the animation started rendering. So, but before I continue, I want to adjust um, my what's it called? 
my camera you will notice that the camera has cut some parts of this body but i want the parts like i want the full um hoodie to show right so let me just quickly adjust my camera and to do that i'm just going to let me press n and you press n go to view um let me see okay do i need to okay let's close back and just click on camera and go to camera and you can then probably adjust the focal length so i'm just going to adjust the focal length like this um or do i want to do what do i want to do let me see yeah i think this is fine i can adjust the focal length like this right so that whenever it is playing it covers the entire body so when i'm done with that again make sure that on your outputs scroll down and you'll see that ensure that this is checked and when you are done you can then go to your render and you click on render animation and it's going to render so we are going to give it i'm going to wait for it to render and after rendering i'll tell you how long it took me um to render the entire animation and you know we'll get back to it so see you in a bit so apparently it's still rendering and so i'm going to um yeah just you can just follow the tutorial the way i've explained it and you will not have any issue other than the fact that the animation will take time to um, render but again it is blender what do you expect and it's an heavy power right so just um get ready to probably have your system um render all through the night or you know so yeah um if this resonates with you if it's something that you are going to definitely use give me a like comment and also share with your friends and you know subscribe and again please check out um Brock creative he's doing an amazing stuff you know just um check him out on tiktok and on youtube and also on instagram and i'm going to see you next time cheers